Hey guys, it is your girl Mako and today is a very special day because I'm here with one of South Africa's brightest stars, like literally. She is amazing. The one, the only, Simpiwa Dana. Simpiwa, how are you? I'm good. Wow, what an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to New York. How, how are you feeling like being here? Like, how does it feel to be sitting in New York City today? You know, I, I love, I love, love the pace mm -hmm. of, of New York. You know, if you see us, I, I speak very slowly. Yes. I think once I will, <laughs> I'm going to just live here for a few months and I'll be speaking so fast. Yeah. It's going to be on the go every day, on the go, on the go, on the go. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. I yeah. Love the city. Yeah, New Yorkers are very fast paced. We walk fast, we talk yes. fast, we eat fast. Yes. We're, we're yeah, very, very yeah, fast. Yeah, I like it. So I like to do a little thing in my interviews where we do some icebreakers, right? Where okay. we I ask you a couple of questions like the last thing that you did and all you have to do is just respond to me like the last thing that you did just very fast, very off the brain, <laughs> off the cusp. Why okay. Do you <laughs> no, well you can just say pass. I'll give you okay, a pass. Uh, Only for one question. Okay. Okay, so what was the last reality show that you watched? Oh my god, the one with the twins. T and Tamir? Yeah. Okay, okay, <laughs> fair enough. The last compliment that you received? Uh, it had to do with my music, it was today. Today? Yeah. What did they say? Um, my music saves their lives every day. Oh wow. Yes. Yeah, oh, that's deep. I, I know. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, all right, we'll get to that in a little bit. The last gift that you gave? Last, okay, I, I have it with me. Um, it is um, ingredients to make. Uh, what's it called again? Beignets. Beignets. What is that? Beignets. Beignets. Oh I'm, 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 I'm pronouncing it okay. wrong. Okay. It's like it's it's from New Orleans. Oh. And it's like uh, it's, it's, it's a dough. And okay. You fry the dough and you put some sugary stuff on oh, it. Oh, I okay. see. Yeah. That sounds interesting. My, yeah, my daughter is a huge fan of. The Princess and the Frog, mm -hmm. you know, so all of these dishes <laughs> from New Orleans were being made. There, yes. You know, so <laughs> so I, I've had to buy her this so we can make it together. Oh, very nice. So it's yeah. a surprise. It, it, don't tell her. Don't tell her. Okay, we'll keep the secret between us. The last girl's night out. Oh my God, <laughs> I haven't had one of those in a very, I can't even remember. Really? Yeah. You and your girls don't get together and like hang out and kick Not it. alone. Not alone. Not, no. It's no, always no, with partners no. and stuff. Yeah, I mean, firstly, I hardly ever go out. Mm -hmm. I've been a workaholic, mm -hmm. you know, especially the past two years. Yeah? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. So maybe while you're in New York, we can get you to walk fast, eat fast, and also have a girls' night out. I've, I've been um, pestering a, a friend of mine, Yolanda, okay. <laughs> for about, let's do something. Do something, right? So, so, okay. so hopefully. So this is the last question. The last song that you sang to your children? The last song I sang to my children? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I normally um, sing them a bedtime song. Aww. You know, mm -hmm. just like a kiddie song, you know? Yeah. <laughs> What's the song? Uh, what is it? Uh, do I really have to? <laughs> okay, just a little bit. I mean, I just love hearing your voice anyway, so if I can get even a bedtime story song, I'll take it. Okay. It's, oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lullaby. It's okay. okay. I love it! Yay! <laughs> that so, would put me to sleep every single time yeah, in the best so. way possible. Though. That's amazing! Uh, when they were younger, especially, mm -hmm. I would sing them that song to them. Oh. It worked every time. Mm -hmm. I see why. <laughs> awesome. So, back to you being in the States. You were at Essence um, at New Orleans yeah. and you performed at one of the stages. What was yeah. that experience like? I and mean, what was the highlight of your trip there? It was really amazing. Um, that was my first performance. Wow. Not just in New Orleans, mm -hmm. but in the U.S. Are you kidding me? Um, How is that possible that that is your first performance in the States? <laughs> That's crazy to me. Okay. Well, I mean, it, the thing is, um, when you're an unknown, you know, I mean, the reason why I, I, I had to move to Joburg is because I was told if you want to make it, you have to yeah. come to Joburg. Absolutely. You know? So, and then, and then find your way. So, when you're an unknown in, in a place, you know, you have to 
um, basically almost pay your own way yeah, until, you uh, until people say, okay, we believe enough to pay, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So um, that was the reason, one of the reasons why I haven't come before because I could not pay for my own bag. Right. You know, to it's expensive. Of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so this time around, I, I could come because I, I, I asked for help. Yeah. You know, my, my government culture yeah. and uh, my province okay. you know, where I stay, they helped me financially. Wow. Even even um, SAA mm -hmm. pitched in and they gave me free flights. It's a team know. effort. It was really like my country showed mm -hmm. me so much love. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. And I'm really grateful. Oh, that's fantastic. So yeah. what was the reception like to the crowd? Because you're performing to, I know you use the term unknown, although everyone in South Africa and in Africa <laughs> and in <laughs> Europe knows who you are. Yeah, but not in the US. In the, not in the US <laughs> yet. Yes. But what was the reception like when you performed in the, the crowd at Essence? Like, how do you think they received your music or kind of received you? Well, um, I saw a lot of people enjoying my music. Mm -hmm. you know, um, I actually believe that everyone who came there, mm -hmm. you know, really enjoyed the music. Yeah. You know, and, and they knew um, they, they knew my work, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, so they were happy to hear the songs. That they've always listened to mm -hmm. to hear them live or the truth for that that's amazing um, and yeah. this saturday uh t the day after tomorrow yes. you're performing at red rooster in harlem and i will be there super excited to see i actually have a cousin who's flying in from dallas to come see you and i have another cousin who's in philadelphia who's threatening to drive down like we're gonna oh make it God, a family they miss, affair they missed the philadelphia they missed the show. philadelphia show so they might okay, drive but, down but, for but, but no worries yeah yeah, yeah. We, still have the red rooster. we still have the red rooster in harlem what yeah. is the significance of performing in harlem which is oh like the my black word America. you know what like, does that mean to you yeah, like they've been singing <laughs> yeah. about harlem for yeah. The longest time, yeah, you know, and yeah. like, where is this holiday? <laughs> Billy Holiday singing yes, about it, yeah, you know? yeah. Um, it's, 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 it's good, you know, mm -hmm. and I mean, I want to capture like, a little bit of that energy from mm -hmm. the 40s and 50s, mm -hmm. you know, I want to capture it a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, because I mean, I, when I walk around, I'm like, I wonder where they used to hang out with jazz hats, right? You know? Right, right, <laughs> you know, I want to go to those places okay. and capture like, a little bit of that magic for myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, there's, it's, it's um, Harlem is a very, very rich, rich history. Very, you know, and I'm really honored to, to come there and, and bring my, my gifts. Yes, <laughs> come there and give. I I'm so serious that I really, really can't wait. We're gonna make a whole day out of it, and I'm super, super excited. Yeah. So I was watching one of the interviews that you did in 2011, mm -hmm. and you were on Motswako, and you talked about how sometimes you feel like you're probably not valued in SA. You don't feel like you're appreciated in your country. I want to know, do you still oh feel God. that way? Did you watch that? I sure so did. So people, I'm a big fan. <laughs> like I'm watching everything. <laughs> <laughs> um. I've heard so much support from my country, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. on this trip. I mean, if, if you go on Twitter right now, you yeah. know, it's a buzz, you yeah. know. I feel like I'm on a mission. I'm carrying my country. Yes. You know? Yeah. <laughs> they've, they've all, all, like, you know, like all of a sudden made me an ambassador, mm -hmm. and a soldier, you know. <laughs> and I, I really feel blessed. You know, like you know, all the world wishes. You yeah. know, I, I can feel them. You Good. know, even though know, even besides seeing them, I can feel them. You know, I was, I was telling someone that they were trying to bully me. Someone them, was trying to bully you? Don't worry about it. Oh! <laughs> but as I said to them, you, know, you cannot bully me. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, my country loves me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and, and that's all right. I said. And I was like, you cannot mess with this. Yeah. You cannot touch this. Yeah. Thing, you, know? you must understand that you know, mm -hmm. my people have sent me here and they have faith in me and, 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 uh, and they love me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. And to that person trying to bully some people, mm -hmm. I got my eye on you. No, don't, don't come for her, okay? Because we are definitely 100%. And 10% behind you. But speaking yeah. of Twitter, I saw Maxwell and Jill Scott tweeting about you, which made my heart just like beat a thousand times faster. Did you see those tweets? My heart exploded. Yeah. 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 Completely. Um, I have so much respect for both of them. I actually got a chance to see a little bit of Maxwell at the Essence. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm so blessed that I actually caught him doing uh, my favorite song from him, uh, which is Lifetime. Oh, yeah. And it just felt like it was at such a perfect moment. 
it was I was still in bed and crying like an idiot. Oh, so while we're on the subject of Twitter, I know that you're very active on Twitter and that you have had some some discourse with some political leaders on Twitter. So I wanted to find out from you if you have any. <laughs> I love that facial reaction that you just gave. Me. <laughs> but you hold your own, which I love. Do you have any political aspirations? Um. You know, I've been asked this question before, um, you know, and I don't think when people, I don't think people uh, realize that there is a different kind of artist, mm -hmm. you know, to maybe what they 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 want to see. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, I'm inspired by people like uh, Megan Markeza, you know, Simone, Bob Marley. I love food, you know, people that speak for something, you know, and good, good music speak for something, you know. So, um, the human condition is political, yeah. you know, our existence is political, you know, but that, that has got nothing necessarily to do with political parties, and forming political parties, or being a part of them, you know. Um, we can um, fight injustices, you know, and stand up for what is right without being a politic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in fact, it's the people that make politicians. But anyways, my point is that I'd, I'm not interested in politics right now. I mean, okay. I, I think I remember the same <laughs> political party, the, the leader. You yes, know, like her who party, remain yes, unnamed. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, her party thought that maybe I want to be, I'm like, oh my God, me in <laughs> politics. But you know, um, I, I will serve um, my country if need be. Maybe in my 60s or something. Okay. Late 50s, uh, 60s. So at some know. point later on, but uh, probably not now. Uh, I will serve my country if need be. You know, if I'm still crying about the same things yeah. I'm crying about now, mm -hmm. and no one has done anything about them. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's someone, because I'm sure that there's only someone who knows equipped that needs. Yeah. If, if, if someone does something about it, then there'll be no need. Right. Yeah. yeah. So if there's a need, uh, I might much later. I'd, I'd say you'd make a pretty good politician. I'd vote for you. I mean, not on the basis that you're oh, a phenomenal no, you're singer. Biased. I am biased. I won't even lie. I'll definitely I vote think for I would you. only just have to sing to just <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, that would be the easiest uh, yeah. election ever. Yeah. It would. Street.